Hello everyone, it is Susan here and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I am making clusters primarily out of just scraps of paper. And you can see I'm digging through my little bin of scraps. So in this particular bin, uh, this is where I keep the smaller size um, scraps of paper. I did go through this little bin, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I organized it and I pulled out some of the bigger pieces. I actually threw a few things away, believe it or not. Um, I know, crazy, right? Um, so now I that I've gone through that little bin, I'm going to organize the paper is primarily by color um, or not necessarily that the colors are identical or I'm just looking for you know colors that will go nice together so now I'm digging in my bigger bin of bigger papers although you would never know it by looking at this there's like the same size <laughs> probably in this as the uh, as the small one but I am going through it because I need some some base cards some base paper to build my clusters upon right so you can see these are all like I don't know they're just like um, they're not project life cards but they will make a really, really nice base foundation for the clusters. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start building my first cluster here. And you know, it's funny because green is just not a color that I gravitate towards, but yeah, but I guess because, I don't know, um, I guess in some cases I like it and some I don't. <laughs> but here I was actually working on two different clusters at the same time. There's this one here and then the one that I first started on, which I will go back to um, in a moment. Um, but I needed um, a better base for this cluster. So I went and I pulled out um, another card that I had. It had writing on it and everything, uh, but I decided not to use it. And um, and all I did here was take my tiny attacher, put one staple in, then I saw this little piece of trim on my desk and I put it in there. I need to remember to go back and glue that in because <laughs> I still haven't done that. But now I'm searching through some of my laces because I figure, you know, I have this lace, I might as well use it. But you can see here that the bases that I selected, like it didn't matter what was really on them. What mattered more was probably like the borders of them because that's really what you're seeing here is the borders of those base papers and this little round bin here oh my gosh do any of you recognize this stuff oh my gosh you want to talk about a blast from the past so these um the stars and those other hearts not this one the ones that I first pulled out um they were I believe from Heidi Swap and then um, well, I, I'll, maybe I'll explain it better so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But this particular little butterfly, I don't recall who made this butterfly. Let me see. I have the little bin right here. Let me see. Um, it might be. I think it is Heidi Swap. I do. I think that that white butterfly was Heidi Swap. Um, you know, it's funny because I keep like little pieces of the packaging with my stuff so I can eventually, you know, if I need to remember who made something, I have something that can hopefully help me. 
So this little cluster right here is more about the neutral colors. And I have this, that button I just put on the table, which is from the Prima Lyric Collection. Mind you, I just did a video on an album I made in 2013 using that collection. Um, but that is actually a button, a wooden button uh, from that old collection that I'm finally going to be able to use, finally. And of course, now I have to use some of my eyelet trim because it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And yeah, so for the most part, these clusters, um, I'm getting away with just one staple in each, except for one of them. And I made 12 clusters. So, yep, yep. And that was just some tacky glue that I've had for a million years and it held the button down perfectly and then these are just like that little piece right there i don't even know what that's from it's just a little piece of it's actually scrapbook paper and that doily is an old one from recollections and i just kind of play with things this is one of my favorite clusters because i'm really liking that whole orange feel to it and i went and i searched you can see real quick i did that um, for more lace and I liked this lace for this and I thought that that was perfect now that heart is from pink paisley from their Lux collection remember l-u-x-e Lux um, that is from that pink paisley collection and yeah, I couldn't get the back off, so I ended up tearing, tearing off a bunch of the cardboard layers, and I'm just gonna put glue on it and get it down. Because if something doesn't tear off in the first 10 seconds, too late, it's I'm going to do something else or just tear the whole thing off. <laughs> because that's the kind of patience that I have. <laughs> um, so now I'm kind of looking through my pink pile and uh yeah a lot of this stuff is just stuff that you know painty papers or uh, things that i've stamped and colored in or whatever uh, these little flowers um they were actually on the outside of an envelope from happy mail from years ago so um yep and now I'm adding a little bit of that pink and white striped tr trim that I love. And I had this random heart. It was a punch from a punch. Uh, long ago, I punched it out. And you'll see, yeah, this one I had to staple twice. Um, and it was sitting on my desk. I'm like, well, I'm going to throw it on here and get it off of my desk. Now, this piece of painty paper I just love. I used the main part of it on one of the albums that I just finished. Um, yeah, but I'm pulling in some tissue papers there. And I have that piece of wallpaper, but I'm going to hold on to that. And then this is also from an envelope from some Happy Mail. And I just thought this little bunny was so stinking cute. That is a bunny, right? Or is it a cat? <laughs> All right, you guys tell me. Is that a bunny or is that a cat? <laughs> Now that I'm looking at it, I thought it was a bunny all along, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But anyway, okay. So I, I just needed something. I needed more color. So I had those two tickets on my desk that say love. And I thought, great, I've had them since like 2013. So I'm good with using them in that cluster. Um yeah, now this I'm just going to build up again, and I finally get to use this wallpaper. And um, at the end of this, you guys are going to probably cringe by something that I do on this cluster, but you'll just have to forgive me. I know some of you will just cringe. Um, but yeah, so I use those stamps. Uh, obviously from mail and yeah I was searching through that bin again oh you know what it's not wait a minute no it's not this one you're going to cringe I'll let you know it's coming it's coming and it has to do with a little white heart that's made out of fabric and is puffy puffy poofy <laughs> 
So when I get to that, that's when you guys are going to cringe. I forgot I used this arrow, and that's from Heidi Swap from a million years ago. All right, so now I've totally messed up the organization of everything, right? I had stuff everywhere. So now I'm determined to take what I have on this desk and continue making clusters. Now, mind you, I made 12 clusters, and um, yeah. So I make a few more clusters out of what is on my desk. And it was almost like a challenge, right? I mean, there's just a certain amount of items sitting there that I had to choose from. And it was a little bit of a challenge, but I loved it. And, and I really liked the clusters that, that came out of this mess on my desk. <laughs> Um, yep, yep, so now I'm back to that, to these two pieces here that I think I started the video with, that green, and then the one with, like, the, the leaves on it. Yeah, so now I'm finally back to that. Um, and again, I'm just looking at colors. Again, they don't have to be matchy-matchy, but I want them to look nice together. And it's, this one's fairly eclectic. But that's okay. I'm 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 rolling with it. Um, I decided to put this on here, which I think was also from some Happy Mail, and that I called that one good. I'm getting rid of rid of those tiny tiny little pieces of of paper, right? So I'm trying to clean up as I go along, so I know what I have to work with here, and I just continue building. I'm just looking at colors, and I'm building until it looks nice to my eye. So this is the cluster where I think I'm gonna make some of you cringe. So see that little poofy heart? Oh yeah, so what I should have done was staple the cluster and then glue the heart on top. But watch what I do. You guys cringing? Cringe, cringe, cringe. Oh yeah, I staple right through it. <laughs> And it is no longer a puffy little heart. <laughs> but it's okay. I survived through it. <laughs> um, so, you know, making these 12 clusters, like when I went, when I sat down and started pulling stuff out of my bins, you know, my intent was not to make any specific amount of clusters. I didn't think, oh yeah, I'm going to make 12 clusters today. Um, it just kind of worked out that way. And what, like I have them still on my desk and I, you know, the majority of them, almost all of them, um, are flat enough that I can add them to journals. Uh, maybe the only one that I can't is the one with that wooden button. Uh, the one that I said was from the Lyric collection, the Prima collection. So, yeah, so this one I believe is my last one. And it's like a Mod Podge of just all these like little leftover pieces, right? Not all of them, but a lot of these little leftover pieces throw on a little a little um, lace and a heart, and it's good to go. I maybe should come back and staple more of that one as well. But I have very little left. So that's it. These are all of the clusters. I'm going to hold them up closer for you to see. They're all very different. They're all different colors. There's the heart. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um and I, I like having the different colors, the different sizes, you know, so as I'm working on pages, um, different projects, I can figure out. That's the button. That's the one that would be hard to put into a journal. Uh, this is one of my favorites, the one with the orange and that heart. Yeah, super pretty. So it was a lot of fun. So let me know if you have any questions and I pray that you have a wonderfully blessed week and please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.